Next up, we're going to talk about the function switch. The function switch is equipped with a high power lockout screw. This is going to prevent accidental engagement of our high power lasers while we're in a training environment, potentially causing injury. When we move up or forward on the switch, we're going to engage our infrared lasers. We have aiming low, illuminator low, and then we have dual low. The dual low option is going to enable us to cast both our aiming and illuminator lasers at the same time. The illuminator at low power also has a menu function that enables you to toggle between the illuminator at distance and the illuminator at short range. That's our room illuminator. When we have the illuminator enabled, we're going to be able to control the divergence here with this wheel. The divergence wheel is going to allow us to open that aperture up from two to six degrees. If we disable this lockout screw, then we're able to scroll up to our high power options. Aiming high, illuminator high, and then illuminator dual. And again, that's going to enable us to cast both lasers at the same time. If we were to scroll down, which is towards us, then we're going to access the visible lasers. The visible laser is going to be low power and then high power, which is also disabled by that lockout screw if it's in place. You have the option of activating the unit with the three button pressure pad. You can also activate the unit with this fire button here. The fire button, when pressed once, is only going to have the lasers activated while you hold the button down. If you release it, they'll turn off. To get those lasers to stay on, you're going to double tap it. So a quick succession of taps, and then the laser's going to persist. In order to turn it off, all you have to do is tap again. 